So normally when you're getting started, you want to know your ideal landing location. A lot of times we'll mark it, especially if we're playing with random. And then when you go ahead and push through into the building right here, we'll go ahead and check to see if we get any weapons. Somebody is landing. It's like, eh, nope, never mind. There's somebody just jumped down there, pick up the gun, double check to see if we're going to help out our teammates. And then just peeking the overall area. So already moving on. Got to go ahead and plate up. Getting this gun here is like, well, just looting. And a lot of times that's when it's going to be hottest. So you kind of got to be ready for it. I, I go get the plate off. And then you can see we're already rotating uh, towards the buy station over here, which is ideally what we're looking for, right? That's kind of the, the go-to. I'm just like, give me a shotgun. What the hell's going on here? Uh, it's kind of one of those things. So peeking. All right. I find an M1916, which is all right. And the, t the team got the, the team wipe in the building. I damage this guy coming in. Straightforward kill. And we go ahead and combine our money to get a loadout. And that's normally what you want to try and do as fast as possible. Ideally, you go for a loadout just to go ahead and kind of make sure you have your loadout guns. And then you can go ahead and make sure you're comfortable. Even though floor loot can be good at times, it just depends. This one, I was using the bar build that I had in my meta long range build. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm using. And the, the problem with that is that Blixen was bugged during this time. So I wasn't using Amped. Uh, Amped is something I would definitely use with the bar because it's a little bit of a slower weapon. And you can kind of look at what's going on on the mini map. You can kind of see uh, as the pulse goes over here, we can see that there are people down here that were looking at the buy. This is probably the same team. That's a trio there. We are playing quads. Teammate is working up someone here. We do have a few different dots on the edge there. Another one on top prison or in the shower or inside the cells. And then a ton of people on the far side of prison. But you can see the direct threats. Could be this guy that's looking over to the left. But since I am a little bit lower, unlikely. And we got that all that people working over there. So we'll go ahead and kind of push through. Get the reload in. Do a little bit of slide canceling. The radar jammers, I hope they will get adjusted. Because they're just way too big for Rebirth Island. So I go and peek the area. I pre-aim it. I don't even know if anyone's there because of this radar jammer. You can see someone's coming in. Looking at, let's go ahead and cross. And if you remember earlier, uh, there were people uh, likely going to always go to control. Uh, there's always people landing control. So I get a couple shots off here. I get the down. A little bit low on ammo. I get an assist, rather. You can see this other guy landing in. And I'm kind of coming over here. Oh, there's a little bit of a perk. And that's one cool thing with uh, Rebirth now is there are a lot of these perks that are coming in. But I am on the lookout for rifle ammo. This guy's peeking in. I don't know why you would try to do that. He gets downed. He's the last on their team. I make that call out. And you can tell there's the last because of that ping. I do buy that little thing there so we know what the... The little mini UAV. You can see another person landing in. I go get the ammo. I pick up this ammo here. And now I have at least two mags of the bar ammo. I don't know why this guy thought he could land on me. Pretty straightforward kill. And then uh, you can see that there's still two in the area. Kind of just pre-aiming like, where the heck is this guy at? There he is. Take him out. For some reason, he was trying to melee me. There's still two above. Teammate looks like they take out one. So there's a lot that happens here. And you can see that normally the times that I've played, I usually like to split off. Uh, but this time we were kind of just owning this particular area of the map. At least one of my teammates and the random. So I peek out the area, double check to see if anyone's there. Come back through over here. And then just owning this particular area. My teammate is over in prison. You can see there's someone landing in. I get a down off of that. And I decided to push that. Teammate did call in the cluster. I'm hoping that gives me the kill. I'm like, where's this guy at? Is he going to jump off? He did not jump off. And then somebody's using the helicopter to shoot people. So just moving from building to building. I've been working a little bit more consciously on my centering. Uh, it's a little bit higher than it normally is. Try to mount up. I'm like, ah, that's a little bit of a far shot. Leave that alone. And here's a radar jammer again. A lot of the, the tools that we talk about are just generally having map awareness. And it's really hard to have map awareness when the whole map is cluttered. Uh, I end up mounting up. Demolish this dude. Get the thirst. Can't tell where his teammates are. Teammates running through. And I'm kind of almost just waiting for this thing to disappear. So I know where to go. Because if you just jump out in the open, 
lot of times the TTK, even though they raise it, will be a little fast. You'll get destroyed. You can see I'm using the mounting. Moving across. Double checked what that was. That looked like it was a UAV, but I'm not going to get rid of my loadout guns. Then I go ahead and take this vehicle. We'll go ahead and skip ahead because I just jump in the vehicle and I drive it off a cliff. I just go ahead and drive that off. Obviously, I'm bringing attention to myself, but it is what it is. I'm like, uh, I want to play a first-person shooter, not a vehicle simulator. So I grab that really quick. So a lot of times in rotation, you could just grab one of those contracts. If there's a buy station nearby, that'll help you get a reduced UAV, self-revive, whatever the case is. You can see I peek the area before I go, and then I decide to take this helicopter. There is a UAV in the air. I get a quick overhead view of the map. Look through. I can see that there is a guy over on this roof here uh, that is just kind of working that area. And I'm just going to go ahead and roll up and take them out. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a double bug that happens here. There's two bugs that happen in this scenario. Um, this one, the helicopter grabs me uh, because I'm under it. It actually pulls me towards it uh, versus I was trying to drop off beforehand. And then the, the Blixen was bugged. So the sprint to fire, it would not allow me to fire the weapon as I jumped out or else this would have been a lot smoother. I would have taken less damage and I would have been able to delete the person. So you can see I jump out right here and it pulled me forward and then I can't fire. And then I eventually get the delay gone and then I fire. So I'm kind of just peeking the area. You can see on the mini map, uh, pretty much everyone is on this side of me unless they have ghosts They're all gonna be in front of me So that's kind of where I'm focused on my attention and hopefully I don't get shot from behind or anything like that while I, I'm, I'm plating here uh, So that's kind of how that part goes Guys on the loadout I couldn't get any hit markers there I double checking just making sure no one's sneaking up on me I hit this thing I got to finish plating you can see that there's still a lot going on in front of me. I mount up. The bullet velocity on this thing isn't amazing, but it does still hit pretty hard. And again, I'm running into one of those ammo situations where I am low and the weapon is slow without amped. Rotate over to go get a munitions because it is a discounted buy. So that's one of the other things with the discounted buys is you can utilize these things. I'm getting sniped from that tower. So I'll have to readjust and reposition based off of that. And the, one of the main reasons we do these types of videos, is not like insane high kill. We're playing conservative, working from location to location. Uh, and this is something that's repeatable. Doing a cracked out gameplay of a top you know, 0.01% player and just explaining, do that, but you're not that cracked out. It's a little bit harder to mimic that. So that's one of the things that I generally like to do within the game plays is I am above average player and I play very conservative because this allows you to copy this. There are scenarios where maybe I play a little bit reckless. I'm trying to chase kills, but I wouldn't necessarily emphasize that unless you're ready to make that next leap. There's always a progression system within COD if your aim is great, your reaction time isn't the greatest, you kind of got to play with your strengths and weaknesses. Uh, if you're just young, got these amazing reflexes, and your aim's good, your map awareness is good, you just play that effectively. And that's what we're going to look at here. I'm kind of having a little bit of cover fire. You can see that someone marked on the map here that there is a little bit of a ping behind me. So I have to be aware of that. They have to come up the stairs unless they got deady or jump through the window there. It could be a little bit tricky. I have full ammo here, have a little bit of a power position, overlooking as kind of where we're split. Teammate has the loadout. I'm watching over them really quick. Looks like they're in the building. Is anyone up top? I was double checking. I didn't realize that the teammate had pushed through the building. I heard the door open. Uh, so I'm working based off that assumption. Pre-aiming where these guys have the loadout. I saw one jump down. I'm calling that out. And then I'm kind of just overlooking to see what's going on while mounted. Delete this guy as he's coming across. I get the down. Say he's live ping because I am running combat scout. I double check the area again. I get good timing on this guy. I get to shoot him out of the sky. Would have probably been a little bit easier with the better bullet velocity. I can see his last teammate is down low. Uh, and then what I do here is I kind of get lucky because we got the contract done. I live ping him. I can see exactly where he's going here. Plus he's on the map. So I just pre-fire essentially knowing exactly where he is. Jump through. He has a heartbeat out. Like that's going to do anything. Uh, and then he gets smoked. I make sure I get a gas mask. And then we are in a top 
10 situation. It looks like these guys are over here on the, the tower somewhere. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Moving up the hill. You can see that they have to rotate. Everyone has to rotate. Since this is a, a 3v or 4v2 situation, I say, oh, I'll just go up top. I could pick up a couple easy kills. I got a gas mask. If they don't, they're going to be out in the open. I'll at least be annoying to them. So I'm working up the tower. We get that contract. So in case we kill one of them, uh, we could know exactly where the last one is, right? Even though they are essentially holding hands, we can see that they haven't rotated out. One of my teammates has already come across. I come through. I get the one there, and I shoot the other one. I could have full sent this, but I didn't, right? Like, I just throw a precision on top. My teammate pushes it. The guy ends up getting a self-revive off. And that could have been a 14th kill, but why get greedy? You don't need to get greedy. A lot of times, that's one of the things that will lead to deaths is getting greedy. So, there it is. Appreciate the support. Hit the like button. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.